Gail! In this video, we're going to give you five facts about the Australian magpie. Wee! Yeah. Yeah. What should I say? You know. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh god, never gonna get used to that. <laughs> Alright, g'day guys! We're the Fauna Fetchers! Maybe you would know some of these facts about magpies, or maybe you don't. Or maybe you're terrified of watching this video because you had a magpie incident when you were a kid. Or, or as an adult. Or maybe you had a tree climbing accident and you're terrified of being in this position right now. <laughs> you think that story with the polar bear is funny, mate? You gotta be joking. I'll tell you a story. You see, in Australia, where I'm from, right, we have these crazy birds. Now, you think they're just little birds, but they are black and white missiles of the sky. Come after you for no good reason at all. I taught you to take your eyes out, all that sort of stuff. I'm pretty sure they've killed a man once, anyway. So, we were riding to school one day, right? Riding the bikes, as, as of normal. And, uh, anyway, then these things start coming at us all directions. Oh, we didn't even know what hit us. My friend, he fell on his bike, and I was going to hit. I turned around to look at him, he says, go! Save yourself! So I thought, oh, okay. Now, I never saw him again. He was my good friend now. To this day, I have nightmares and the sounds that the swooping haunts me, so I always, always carry one of these bad boys around. Just, they, they come at you bring me So yes, they do have a pretty bad reputation, but trust me, they are super smart and super cool animals. <laughs> so let's get into our five facts. Yeah. Number one. So, since settlement here in Australia, we've actually cleared a lot of land, as most of you probably know. And we've turned into flat, kind of grassy plain areas. Yeah, so that means magpies are thriving. Well, they like these grassy meadowy areas, so they can see their whole territory. Also, they love uh, picking food off the ground. That's where they mainly spend Jimmy, most of their time. There's a big what do you reckon, guys? Woo. Look, look at this thing. Woo. Woo. Oh, that's a number one. Sophie, look. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. two. Now, magpies are known to be very, very clean animals. So yes, they love the bird water bath, but they also love to sunbake. And uh, look, the sunbaking that they do, it's pretty strange. But why do they sunbake? Well, sunbaking actually kills parasites that live on their bodies and in their feathers. However, like Sophie just said, when they actually sunbake, it looks really odd. Like, super odd. Mm -hmm. You almost think they're kind of dead, would you say? Yeah, they kind of like blur out like this. Yes, and their eyes go all weird. Look, what is... Blur out like this. Yes, and their eyes go all weird. Look, what is... Instead of pretending to know how to do it, we're going to put a video up for you guys anyway. What are you doing? What? What? Why? What, what are you doing? Why? Fact Number three. three! Did you know that not many magpies actually swoop? In fact, only eight to ten magpies actually swoop. And 99% of those magpies are actually males. Enough. <laughs> Number four. four. So, our magpies are actually super duper smart. Mm -hmm. So not only do they recognize each other, mm -hmm. so another magpie, yep. but they also remember people's faces. Yep, that's right. So watch out, because if you annoy a magpie, he's gonna remember. But if you befriend a magpie, you're gonna have a black and white bird friend forever. Yay, Gary. Love you. Ow, that's my face. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. <laughs> so our magpies are 
butterflies are also great mimickers mm -hmm. of noise, that is. Mm -hmm. So if you have a tribe of magpies living around your area, yes. and you always feel like a dog is barking constantly, yes. it might not be a dog. Yes, or maybe you think there's sirens constantly going off past your house. May not be sirens. Oh, maybe you think you have a secret admirer that always wolf whistles at you when you walk outside to the garbage bin. Nope, that could be a magpie. Mm -hmm. Are you mimicking something? Oh yes, no, actually, I think that's Bridget's whining voice. Uh, I, I know, I know, I know. Hush now, hush. So there you go guys, five feathery fauna facts about the Aussie magpie. Now, like the video, tell us what you think. Also, make sure you follow us and do all those things on other social media um, that we are on. Instagram and Facebook. Facebook right? yes. Instagram, Start the Fauna Fetcher and Bridge the Fauna Fetcher. We might even have a TikTok account. Yes, somewhere there. <laughs> yeah. But it's really important you do so. Yeah, and make sure you should subscribe because uh, we're gonna release other videos about those magpies you saw in the video uh, that you just watched. Wendy and Jerry, the absolute funny legend. So they're our captive animals. And if you wanna see any other animals we have on our captive license, I'll put a link for our tour video yeah, um, check in it the out. description below. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Oh, one more thing. One before, before you go. Thing. Now, this video is being released on the 17th, which is today. And it is someone's mm -hmm. birthday. Which is tomorrow. Day. Well, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you want to say, Bridget? I want to say happy birthday. Thanks for all your support. You know who you are. Really appreciate it. It's my partner, Dave. So, he's turning old today. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that's it for us. We're the Fauna Fetchers and we're flying out. Ta da! <laughs>